Hi everyone, welcome to this video. I am going to be reviewing The Lady's Mind by Francine Rivers. So this releases February 8th on Tuesday and I plan to put this video up on the date that it releases. So I figured that would make sense. So this book is pretty exciting because it's Francine Rivers' new release and it feels like it's been a while since she's released a new book. It kind of takes every two years-ish for her to release one. So I was definitely highly anticipating this and I did receive a free copy through NetGalley, so I'm really thankful for that. And I was able to read it early. So right off the bat, I'll just say I gave it four stars. I really enjoyed it, but I definitely have read better books by Francine Rivers. And because it's Francine Rivers, I'm probably, it's, I'm just always going to compare her books to each other because she has written like phenomenal books. And so I kind of hope every one of her books is like that. Um, so that's why this only got four stars because I don't feel like it hit the same level as some of her other books, but I will share what it's about. Um, likes and dislikes and why you might be interested. So this is set during the 1800s, during kind of like the settlement of the West when gold mining was really popular in California. And you follow this woman who is actually being sent from Boston by her family to California because she's kind of getting disowned because she is the child of her mom's first man. I forget if they were married. I don't think they, no, they were. Yes, okay, her first husband actually, they were married. So, and her mom's husband's, first husband's brother recently passed away and willed his mine to her. So then the mom is like, oh, Catherine, you just take it. Catherine is the name of the woman. Um, you just take it and go because you're causing problems. Cause she is also like a suffragette and she likes to stir the pot and break out of gender norms. And so she's causing problems within their family. So her stepfather is like, that's it, you're moving out. And he gives her some money to get her to California and then she has to find her way. So she ends up getting to this small mining town that her uncle lived in. She meets the people in the town and it's her making a way for herself and trying to survive um, as a single woman. When she first gets to the town, she runs into the owner of like a popular hotel and bar his name is Matthias or Matthias. Don't know how to say that name. It's like Matthias, but I don't think you say the th, so it's Matthias, whatever. Um, Mr. Beck. And they argue right away because he's actually beating up a guy for like being super drunk and inappropriate. And she didn't know that. She just saw him beating him up. So she was like, excuse me, what are you doing? And right away he like doesn't like that she sticks her nose in business that isn't hers. And so they have like, you know, a hating game going on. So they butt heads a lot and that happens all throughout the book. And it is a romance between the two of them. And you do find out there's like some corru corruption going on in the mines and there's like certain just things going on, issues between the people and everything. So she is trying to navigate living life in this little town. And she doesn't really have a choice because she has nowhere else to go. Um, she's not supposed to go back home. So what I really liked about it was the setting. I found that it was very descriptive in a way that I could picture everything that was going on. And I just kind of like constructed this cute little mining town in my head. And I really liked the setting for that. I also really enjoyed some of the characters. Um, there were some like side characters that Catherine makes friends with that I just really loved their personality and I loved what they brought out of her. I think Scribe was one of my favorites. He was kind of her like little assistant. Um, he used to work for her uncle and she ends up hiring him on as like a typewriter because she doesn't exactly know how to type yet. So um, she wants to run like a little newspaper. So she gets Scribe to help her and that was a really cute relationship. It was kind of like a brother sister thing going on. And I also just really liked Catherine's personality. She was like fairly confident in herself and she loved Jesus. She had her Bible out and was praying a lot. Um, I wouldn't say that faith was a major part of the story and yet it was like um, Catherine always turned to God with her problems and eventually she brought Beck back to his faith as well, which was sweet to see. I found the humor was very good in this book. It was definitely quite lighthearted and I wouldn't say that it hit on super intense topics because the topics that were intense were kind of like women's rights and then also like workers' rights. And a lot of those things are better now. They even talked about getting the women getting the vote and I'm thankful that women can vote now, you know? So 
those were kind of the issues that were touched on, not really much else. So it felt lighthearted for that reason. And it was just like a quick and easy read. I found like it, it was long, but there were enough like things going on throughout the plot that made it interesting and I wanted to keep reading. And overall, like an, a great addition to Francine River's collection, but for s the reasons why I didn't like it, is why I wouldn't say it's her best and it got four stars. So one of the things that I didn't like is actually the relationship between Catherine and Beck because for the most part, they were fighting all the time. I mostly don't understand why Catherine would like him because she was like one of the only ladies in the town. So like every guy was staring at her and wanted her attention and wanted to marry her. So it made sense that Beck would like her, but they just, he was like quite rude to her at times and I guess I'm just not into that trope anymore like what is it uh, I hate to love <laughs> um I, I just don't really like that trope unless it's done well and done realistically kind of and I don't know because like they did have tender moments between each other so that's nice and like obviously they came around they ended up liking each other they were good for each other they ended up together but just the beginning part i was like oh not this again you know like i just don't really find it believable that i don't know that's my own personal preference so it might not bother anyone else um who likes that trope so and i would have said i wish that it went deeper but actually um francine rivers wrote an author's note at the end and she was like i feel like coming out of 2020 we need some lightheartedness so i wanted to just write this for fun this is like a fun book for me and I wanted to just keep it light and I respect her for that. So that's definitely what this book was. I wouldn't say that it was like super heart-wrenching and at any point. There was one attempted assault scene, actually kind of multiple attempted assault scenes on Catherine and she dealt with it in a realistic way but also like in a, you know, quick way I guess and I still felt like it fit the story so that worked and then seeing her start her newspaper and work with the mine and get to know these people in the town and really make a difference in this town was really satisfying to read about and I just really enjoyed it so that part was great it was mainly the relationship that I didn't really like I guess that's just how it was back then like but I don't know just like it just didn't make sense to me I don't know I can't explain it but yeah overall I enjoyed it I'm really glad that I read it it was clean. Um, there was one marriage bed scene that wasn't described, but just like it said, and then they did it. Great. Um, and woke up the next morning. So that happened once. And there was like a little twist in there that was fun. Actually kind of two, a twist and a half, I'd say, that was like exciting to read about. So yeah, overall, I think that's it. Um, so I would encourage you to read it if, if that sounds good to you. I'm really looking forward to seeing what else she comes out with in the future. I really hope that she continues to write, you know, forever until she can't. But if you have read this, I would love to hear your thoughts, but it did just release today. So if you haven't read it yet, I understand, but I do recommend that you try and yeah, I think that's everything. So thank you for watching you guys. I will see you in my next one. Bye. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm saying sorry. It is what it is. <laughs>